So, you know, I always do research on whoever I'm about to interview, and I was familiar with your acting, but I started looking at the list of directors you work with. You got Francis Ford Coppola, the, the Coen brothers, Woody Allen, Warren Beatty, and Ron Howard. So, I mean, one plus one got to equal. Like, mm -hmm. there must be something great about working with you that allows all these great directors to have you be a major part or a lead in their films. Like, can yeah. you tell me about your relationship with directors? Or how do you initiate your, your, your bond with the director? Yeah, well, to me, it's always that's the most important thing, I think, by far. You know, I think the director really is the author of the movie. And, um, and my feeling is no matter what happens, if I'm working with a great director, then I can't lose if, even if the movie comes out no one sees it or it doesn't come out particularly good you still learn so much from working with people who are masters at their craft and I've that's been the great joy of my working life so far is learning from those guys I also read that you're a film buff and I'm wondering like what for a lot of people it was Star Wars for another generation of people when they first seen it in the 70s but yeah. what movie First, did you first see that really like opened your eyes to the other side of the camera of, of being an actor? Well, I think the first thing I really saw that was very that really made me think about movies a little more seriously was The Godfather. I saw it when I was twelve. I read the book, and I just there was something about that that just had. I think also for a, for a little boy, you're just like think these dudes are so cool, you know, yeah, and I wanted yeah. to be Sonny Corleone, and, <laughs> and and that's why, you know, when I got to do my first movie for Francis, it was such a dream come true, because I got to sit there and ask him all these questions and stuff. on it. Just didn't plan on it being so soon. Of course, now you've got a problem. Big problem. You happen to notice that freighter down there? You know what's on it? About 30 hired guns. All I gotta do is give them the signal you're surrounded. be a dream come true playing in the Star Wars franchise. Yeah. Uh, I seen it last night. It's a great movie. You, you do a great job in telling Thank you. how Hans became a, a hustler. Yeah, so yeah. So I, I, I wonder, like, what was the, when you found out that you was getting a role, like, yeah. what was your reaction? Or, or how was the casting process for this? I, I, yeah, well, it was about yeah. six months, and I uh, auditioned on the Millennium Falcon on my third audition with Chewie. Um, the second audition I did with like a, they did a puppet of a dog mm -hmm. and it would like, it had a button and go like, burr, 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 and then you'd talk to the puppet, which was like a chewy kind of chewy test, but they weren't yeah. admitting that it was a chewy test. Um, and it was wild. I mean, yeah. but it was good because too, you know, by the time I got the part, I'd probably acted in 10 scenes in the character for yeah. everybody. So it wasn't like there was kind of in a way I could feel that you know, okay, they've seen it, and they, I'm, I'm in the right, I'm on the right track here. Well, Star Wars has been a lot for a whole bunch of generations, and you're going to keep that going with this story. It's a great job. Appreciate Thank you very job. much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.